Hi, I'm David DeCespedes, maker of Manifest, a productivity system built on Notion. If you're a Notion user, you know you can do so many things on the platform, but it can also get overwhelming when it comes to decisions on building out a dashboard or workspace. Manifest is meant to be a minimalist first layer of your dashboard. It's set up to show you only the information that you need, when you need it, and is also built with customization in mind. It's, the system is also largely influenced by four methodologies. Probably the most influential is a book called Getting Things Done by David Allen. Also the PARA method, uh, which stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archives. Uh, system by Tiago Forte. There's a, a link down below if you want to check that out. Uh, also a book by Brian Moran called The 12 Week Year and uh, Atomic Habits by James Clear, a hugely popular and impactful book outlining the importance of habits and how to build and maintain positive habits. Personally, most of the all-encompassing dashboards I've come across and tried to use tend to do more than what I need, uh, which leads to uh, struggle to implement and to maintain that system and also kind of increasing the likelihood that it's just harder to stick with and um, keep up over the long run. On the other hand, there are templates that are very specialized, some of which I love that leverage Notion to do one or two things really, really well. And although these have a particular goal in mind and are useful, they don't necessarily help you build out a larger system that will help you across different areas of your life. And they tend to work best when incorporated into a system, um, hopefully like Manifest. So before we jump in, I definitely recommend uh, just sketching out uh, or writing out some notes related to how you already work, um, rather than try to implement an entirely new system from one day to the next, getting, um, getting some clarity on how you work will be helpful in customizing Manifest out of the box, which hopefully leads you to stick with it and make it your own. Okay, so let's jump in. Uh, we're looking at the Manifest home screen and there's four spaces to keep in mind that uh, organize all of our things. Um, the first space is now. So this starts with some reminders to yourself, uh, maybe some affirmations, uh, to get going that are front and center, followed by uh, two main database views, one for the current week and one for um, the current days, particularly yesterday and today. The second space is uh, projects, and this is filtered to only show active projects to avoid um, the space becoming overwhelming. The third space is areas. So uh, spaces where you're organizing projects, each project should live in a particular area, whether it's personal, professional, um, something more specific like content creation or health. And the last space is mindsets. This is the main location where uh, all of the databases or most of the databases are stored. Um, so this is the main reference point for you to quickly access the original databases. I want to start in the mindsets space because uh, here's where, uh, like we mentioned, all of your databases are stored. If you're just getting started with Notion, databases are a great way to organize information and reference them in multiple places throughout your workspace. Um, so that is a nice feature of Notion. In uh, the manifest template, there are six main mindsets that organize uh, these databases. First one is goals. So um, these are broken up into long-term vision, um, goals specific to this year, and objectives that are more quantifiable and specific. And each of these has some starter questions and um, settings just to get you going in terms of setting up your goals and long-term vision. Um, a lot of this work is done at the beginning of the year and referenced 
what maybe it's weekly, monthly, or quarterly, just to uh, keep you centered on uh, both short-term and long-term goals. The second um, space, if we go back to mindsets, is create. So referring back to um, the, the getting things done methodology, we have all tasks belong to projects and all projects belong to areas. So this is a way to be able to help you with filtering databases and views so that you can really zone in and focus on a particular area of your life or on a particular project. The next mindset is reflect. So this is where we would track a lot of our habits, whether they're daily habits um, or weekly, as well as uh, document progress on reading or courses or health and fitness to be able to reflect back and see kind of at the calendar view or timeline view, how you're progressing with those habits. Capture is where um, everything that you're writing or making lives. <clears throat> Inbox, if, you use, if you've used the Notion Web Clipper, um, Inbox is a, is a nice place to quickly save resources found online to be able to organize and apply to a project or area later on. Notes is a space for um, ideas or um, thoughts that are not quite tasks or projects, but you want to hold on to and maybe develop later on um, within a particular project or starting a new project. And pages is um, for documents that are a bit more formal. If you've started a blog post draft or if you're writing a YouTube script, those types of documents would live in pages, which are also um, able to filter by, um, not only by category, but by area and project as well. And um, the library mindset is really where you're storing uh, things that you're referring back to, that you're reading, listening to, consuming, whether they're books, podcasts, um, courses taken online, those types of things. And same thing are also able to apply to specific projects. And the last space, which is organizing, um, this is for pages or documents that don't quite live in any of these other mindsets, but you want to hold on to and maybe have quick access to. And lastly, if you have pages that you also want to clean up, if you're doing that weekly or monthly, we would add those to archive before fully deleting them. With the mindset section, um, over time, as you customize this space to include things that are particular to you, whether they're um, habits that you're tracking or um, areas that are not captured in this template, those databases, you'd want them to live in this mindset space. So if we navigate back to the top of manifest, we have the now space, which includes two database views, one for the current week, and the second being uh, for yesterday and today. And this space is primarily for setting intentions, tracking habits, documenting your progress, and being able to reflect on the previous uh, day or week as a way to help you plan ahead based on that information. So if we go into the week section, um, you'll notice that there's some specific properties that are available here, uh, what days are included, um, setting a big goal for the upcoming week, and then reflecting uh, with documenting challenges and wins of that week. And the template page also includes a quick checklist for reviewing quarterly goals, reviewing projects, which is very important to identify the tasks that are highest priority. There's also space to include meetings, um, things that you're trying to learn, teach, make, do. Uh, this might be uh, customized to fit your particular work or uh, goals. And if we go down a little bit to the up next tasks, this is a filtered view of only the tasks that are up next, which is a way to describe 
the next uh, most important task for each project. So if you have multiple projects and you're reviewing them and moving a small number of tasks to the up next status, they would show up in this view. And closing out the week, um, again, building these habits of cleaning up desktops, uh, paperwork, being able to um, review your inbox as well as notes and pages, just to make sure that they're all labeled correctly and in the right place. So if we go down to the next space, we have projects. Um, as was mentioned earlier, this view is filtered to only show um, active projects. So you can see here, the filters turned on and anything that is active that you've started or is on hold um, would show up in this view um, as a way to avoid kind of on your home space, having 20, 30 or 40 projects visible, um, which can be overwhelming and maybe uh, dissuade you from tackling any one of those projects. Um, if we go into um, one of these projects and open that up, you'll see here that there's some properties that are assigned to this particular project and a space to see um, what tasks are associated, uh, what pages and notes are associated with the project, and if there's anything that you're learning or from your visual library databases, they would also show up here for quick access. And if we scroll, if we scroll down to um, the page, and if we scroll down to the page, we have three main sections for each project. Tasks, which are, again, already filtered by this project. So if we go to review February budget, um, we have pages that are also filtered as well as notes. So these are the three main components of the project, but I definitely encourage you to add um, any more topical content that would help you achieve and, and complete that project, whether it's um, establishing a vision statement or an objective and putting that front and center. These are sort of the minimal uh, blocks um, added to each template for each project that you would want to see to complete your project. The third space of manifest is areas, and these are actually links to items in your areas database down here in mindsets. And this is a space to get an overview of any active projects, notes, or pages related to that area. So if we were to open up finances, for example, we'll see that review February budget is uh, included here and tied to this area as a project. And as we, as you develop tasks, uh, inbox items, pages and notes, as long as they are um, applied to an area, they would show up in these properties. And uh, the area template works similarly to uh, projects where you have kind of a high level view of active projects, um, pages and notes that are related to this area, as well as a space for a mission, a vision statement that is um, tying back to your goals and your vision from that space of your mindsets. So from here, this gives you an overview of projects that are specific to this area. So if we want to, we do wanna filter this by finances so that you're only seeing projects that are related to this area. So that's just a quick overview of the manifest system. I'll definitely be sharing more deep dives in, into specific sections of the workspace over the coming weeks that walk through more customizations you can make to the system. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in catching more of these videos. And if you're new to manifest and are curious to check it out, uh, there's a link down below to uh, access the template and duplicate it. And if you're already using Manifest and have questions, comments, or ideas, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. 
it's super helpful for me to learn more about how you're using the system and where it makes sense to make changes or improvements. So I hope that was helpful and see you in the next video.